How you doing everyone? Just gonna make a uh, small video on some of these case traps. Uh, just just a real brief overview and because um, I'm gonna wanna make some longer ones later on um, about each type uh, and maybe showing you know what animals I have trapped in these ones before. So just, just to start off, this is the pigeon traps that I uh, recently bought from traps.com.au. I'm, I'm very impressed with these. They, they are solid, solid built traps. Very nice. Um, you know, nice little fancy uh, plate on there as well. I, um, I put the uh, plate in the back here just to hold some bait. Uh, so it's not falling through the um, actual bars. Uh, that's just with some zippy ties. You know, good, good solid handles. Um, yeah, been been using them down at uh, Pigeon Program at some wineries recently. I'm going to play around with some uh, different baits that uh, I am going to design to to catch more birds. So. These three sizes here, I have um, been using these ones for cats and possums. Uh, they, they work well. They're from um, Paramount Browns, actually. Um, probably not the not the not the most solid of of traps, but but work. Uh, and everyone knows how much those feral cats fight. So um, I, I have reinforced some little bits and pieces um, just with some wire and, and whatnot until I can afford some better ones. Um, this, this size here is interesting. You know, it's kind of um, halfway in between the, the, the two sizes. I really haven't had much of a, of a use for it because, you know, it's too small for a cat. And you know I've, I've got some rats, big rats in them, but I found that those smaller ones work better. So um, not a hundred percent sure what the you know what to use them for. Probably could use them for rabbits, um, but cage trapping rabbits is, uh, in my eyes, ineffective on a on a large scale. So you know you could. You could put them out just for, um, excuse the language, shits and giggles, um, to see what you get. But uh, these smaller ones, I've been using them in my greenhouse to, to catch rats that have been coming in and destroying all my seedlings. Um, and they work really well. You know, bait them up with some peanut butter. And um, yeah, no, that's that's crack to, to rats. They love peanut butter. So a little bit of a tip there, you know, if you've got a rat problem, use the um, peanut butter uh, crunchy is is probably the best that I've found um, you know you can just use real cheap stuff and uh, yeah she, she really really does work um, I will pause this and then go down because I've got my fox trap um, down in the paddock at the moment so I'll uh, splice that into the end and um, Give you a look at what I'm doing down there. So here's that fox trap that I was talking about. Um, this one actually came from Kogan. Um, wanted to test out fox traps, cage traps, before spending any sort of real money on them, because they can get quite expensive for for well-made ones. Um, this one seems to be okay. Came flat packed and you know kind of. Put it together and i um reinforce it with some extra um bird wire clips and and some wire and stuff like that as you can see i uh, actually star dropper the thing down just so if the fox is fight, fighting real hard it's it's not gonna tip and accidentally kind of bust open um yeah i just got a thing of dog food in there uh, it's been raining here heaps lately it's actually raining right now and um yeah, just to see if uh, anything will come in to, to have a look. Um, thing with 
cage trapping is that it can take a long time for animals to get used to the actual cage being in the environment and, and not being a danger. Um, I think their sense of danger awareness is overrides the um, need for food sometimes. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll leave it down here for a couple of weeks and just get them used to it um, and, and then set it because the cage door is actually wide open at the moment. Um, as you can see, the, the food is actually on the plate. So, um, yeah. I'll see how it goes and um, yeah, give it a good working out. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, cheers, have a good day.